Hi guys, it's Coach Tony Morgan and today's video is on the Worcester 28i Junior. So what we're going to be doing, I'm going to be continuing our Master the Basics course and we've got two of our students, Diane and Mark, who's done the online training, now in the classroom looking at this boiler. So we're going to be going through our basics of this boiler. So they're going to go through this flow sequence on the operation, how the prime water works and what should happen in the sequence of operation and then you'll hear them both going through it. So we're going to start with Diane and you'll hear her version on what happens inside the boiler. Okay Diane, so take it away, let's hear what you got. Okay, on hot water mode uh, the customer would hop, open the, the hot tap and that would uh, allow mains uh, cold water to come into the, the boiler here. That would then go across the flow turbine. When it spins it would cause a voltage drop which would be picked up by the PCB. The PCB then would then um, energise the pump to start the, the circulation. It would also energise the actuator motor to select it to the top position. When the, mo the pump starts, it, the, the circulation will go around, around the top here on the return, all the way around here through the heat exchanger and round through the flow pipe down here. It will then go through to the flow unit and then at the same time the cold water will enter through here to the plate heat exchanger which is this and there are opposite ends and the heat will be transferred as it goes across it will be transferred the uh, hot water will then come out of the outlet the hot water outlet there so that's the the flow the okay. ignition would be um, that the pump would start then the um, PCB would start the fan at high speed and it would also initiate the uh, gas valve. The pump would be at high speed and would suck uh, the gas valve off its seat um, and the air and the gas mixture will be mixed in the fan and come across this tube here into the main burner. The main burner um, would there's um, igniter um, the spark probe, electrode, spark electrode, and then it would go over to the sensing electrode so that we know there was a flame there. You would then get a light on the front of the boiler to let you know. The um, the burner would actually burn down, and the products of combustion would actually come out of the uh, flue here. And that will be the end of the sequence. That's it. Okay, excellent. Okay, now we're going to move on to the heating side. So, if, if you can explain how the heating circuit works. Okay. The uh, customer would have a room thermostat calling for heat, and there would be the programmer would be set to on. So there will be demand on for the central heating system. That would then. Um, signal back to the PCB and uh, the pump would start, start the primary flow. It would also, the PCB would also initiate the um, diverter motor. motor and that would be in the down position. That would then shut off the hot water port so that the um, heat would go around the radiators. So the flow would be would be that the flow would go around the main heat exchanger through the flow pipe down here all the way around come through here and because it's going down to the radiators it would go down on this um, uh, yeah, flow, pipe. flow pipe and go around the radiators and then it would come back in to the return on this side which goes into the back of the pump to go around the circuit again and, and around the whole circuit again to be reheated. 
That's it. And the ignition sequence will be the same. That's it. Well done. So you can see how she's got this knowledge and she's got this really quickly from doing our online training. Now she's using it that in our reality classroom training. So up next is going to be Mark. Okay, take away Mark. Right, so the uh, customer has created a demand by opening the hot tap. Um, this sends pressure through the flow turbine, which creates a voltage drop. The voltage drop goes back to the PCB. Um, this starts the pump. It also, at the same time, sends the diverter motor back into the up position, which shuts off the central heating side. The water coming from the pump then is sent up through this return pipe, uh, up through this heat exchanger. Uh, sorry. Yeah, that's right, yes. Yeah, up through the heat exchanger. Um, the flow pipe. Then it comes back f down through the flow pipe here. Uh, back into this left hand flow unit, which then goes into the plate to plate heat exchanger, going across to the pump again, and then goes around the circuit and then comes out the hot water outlet here. So, where's that the hot water outlet? Okay, there at the front. Okay, right. So, what about the ignition side? Right, the ignition sequence uh, basically, when, when the pump starts running, um, PCB sends a signal to the fan. The fan then sends a signal back to the PCB, energises the gas valve. Um, the gas valve opens up. Uh, the gas is then uh, yeah, taken, taken up, sucked up into this uh, mixing pot here with uh, gas in there. It's then sent into this heat exchanger ignited by the uh, spark electrode here it's also um, the flame detection, flame probe. detection probe though which sends a uh, message back to the PCB and everything's okay then burns down here um, and then the products across. of com com uh, combustion go back up through this uh, right inner flow then back out the flow yeah yeah out the flow, flow. that's it well done. Okay, finally, if you just go through the heating process. Right, so the customer will uh, create a demand for the central heating. The pump will start. The PCB will send a message to the pump for the pump to start. At the same time, it will move the diverter valve down into the down position. Yep. This will close off the hot water side of the process. The water will come up from this return pipe, from the pump, up through the main heat exchanger, it'll come fr through this flow pipe here on this left hand side, yep. down into the left hand flow unit, yep. out of the flow here. Can I see that? The flow there. Yeah, that's it. That will then go around the radiators, come back in through this return pipe here, and then this will uh, go around the system again to be reheated back through the heat exchanger. Okay, excellent. And the ignition side, would that be...? Yeah, the ignition side would be basically the same as the hot water. Do you want to go through that? No, that's fine. That's brilliant. Well done. So for new people who want to get into bar repair, this is what you could be doing. So if you want to find out more, just click on the link below and um, we'll hopefully hear from you on that. So that's going to be the end of this video from me and hope to see you on the next video. Bye for now.